What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about Android kiosk mode. So kiosk mode is uh, a tool that businesses can use to lock Android devices to a single app or interface. Um, some common uses for this would be point of sale systems, digital kiosks, self checkouts, uh, ticketing systems at airports or train stations, uh, things like that. So despite being called kiosk mode, it's not just for kiosks, it's for any device that a business would like to lock to one specific interface. Businesses typically use kiosk mode for a couple of different reasons. Uh, the first being security and the second is uh, to have full control over the user experience. So from a security perspective, kiosk mode keeps devices locked down, which prevents end users, be that customers or employees, depending on the type of device, uh, it keeps them from being able to access unauthorized parts of the operating system or download and install third-party applications uh, or really any unapproved process uh, that somebody would normally want to try to do on a device. Uh, kiosk mode keeps them from doing that. Android actually has a native uh, kind of kiosk mode type feature called app pinning. And app pinning is a way to not necessarily lock an app to the screen, but uh, keep people from venturing outside of that one particular app. It's really a consumer based feature uh, that People can use if, for example, they want to let someone see some photos on their phone or uh, use it for just one particular app. It keeps people from being able to navigate outside of that one particular application that's in the foreground and access anything else that's on the system. Uh, so the intended use case there is for consumers. Uh, it's usually not good enough for businesses because it is one, not hyper secure. It's not very difficult to get out of app pinning mode. Uh, and two, it doesn't have a lot of the critical features that businesses would rely on in kiosk mode. Uh, things like the ability to disable notifications or restrict access to calls and SMS, uh, hide the notification bar, uh, block local app installations, disable sleep mode, uh, or control screen orientation and a lot more. Those are usually the types of features that you'll find in a dedicated kiosk mode software solution. Some additional benefits of running a dedicated kiosk mode solution uh, on Android devices would be extended device lifespans uh, because when people are not misusing devices, they're less likely to have something go wrong with them. Uh, also reduce maintenance costs for IT personnel when it's locked to a specific experience, then uh, less can go wrong. Um, and this also increases security as, uh, as we've already talked about. Um, but on the flip side for employee devices, it also maximizes productivity. Uh, if you know employees have a handheld scanning device that runs a smart operating system and has access to an app store, they're going to want to be inclined to uh, install third party applications uh, or even games or something like that. And this would prevent that from happening. Uh, and it also streamlines the user experience. Uh, this is for employee or uh, customer facing devices, either one, if the only options that they get are the only options you want them to see, then uh, they're less likely to deviate or make a mistake uh, from that. If you're looking for a reliable, robust, unbreakable kiosk mode solution, uh, Esper has really strong kiosk mode functionality as part of our device management platform. To learn more about Esper's kiosk mode or any of the device management services we provide, visit us at esper.io.